felt Dracula. It's good to see you back again, Doctor. I heard you have just arrived. And you, Miss Mina, you're looking exceptionally... Pardon me, Dr. Seward. But I think Miss Mina should go to her room at once. Professor Van Helsing, I don't believe it's as important as you seem to think it is. Uh, excuse me, Count Dracula, Professor Van Helsing. Van Helsing, a most distinguished scientist whose name we know, even in the wild of Transylvania. I had a frightful dream a few nights ago, and I don't seem to be able to get it out of my mind. I hope you haven't taken my stories too seriously. Stories? Yes. In my humble effort to amuse your fiancé, Mr. Harker, I was telling her some rather grim tales of my far-off country. I can imagine. Why, John? I can quite understand Mr. Harker's concern. I'm afraid it's quite serious. My dear, I'm sure Count Dracula will excuse you. You must go to your room, as Professor Van Helsing suggests. Oh, but really, Father, I'm feeling quite well. You had better do as your father advises. Very well. Good night, John. Miss Mina. May I call later and inquire how you are feeling? Why, yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, Doctor. My visit was so ill-timed. Not at all. On the contrary, it may prove to be most enlightening. In fact, before you go, you can be of definite service. Anything I can do, I'm glad. A moment ago, I stumbled upon a most amazing phenomenon. Something so incredible, I mistrust my own judgment. Look. My humble apology. I dislike mirrors, but Helsing will explain. For one who has not lived even a single lifetime, you are a wise man, Ben Helsing. What on earth caused that? Did you see the look on his face? Like a wild animal. Wild animal, like a madman. 